The first daughter visited Greenville today. Ivanka Trump got an invite to town from Senator Tim Scott, and it was all for a women in leadership discussion at the Weston Poinsett Hotel. Representative Trey Gowdy, Senator Lindsey Graham were also there as well. Our Erin Rogers is live in downtown Greenville tonight. She has more on what this event was all about. Erin. Well, the event was private, and it was basically a question-answer format between Senator Scott and Ivanka Trump. Hi, everyone. A couple hundred women packed this room to hear the first daughter of the United States speak. I think she's a great example for us to follow. Trump joined Senator Tim Scott on stage talking mostly about the newly passed tax reform bill. We've also expanded the number of people that will be able to get the benefit um, very dramatically. So now for individuals uh, making um, $200,000 and under and for families making $400,000 and under. So really it's an acknowledgement that all families um, need this extra benefit. Talking extensively about the child tax credits they say will help middle income families. I acknowledge that there is uh, a challenge even in, in my fortunate circumstance in balancing the competing demands of, of work and, and a family, but I am so much more fortunate than most and I want to lift barriers for as many people as I can, and that's what I went to Washington to do. I am thankful to you, Ivanka, as well. Senator Scott says he worked very closely with Ivanka Trump on the bill. The IRS has indicated that nine out of ten employees will see more money in their paychecks. But not everyone is sold. People protested during the event outside of the hotel. It's the greatest transfer of wealth in the history, I think, of legislation. Well, the tax reform bill was nothing more than uh, an avenue to uh, have the rich again uh, receive more and, and the poor less. But people inside the room left satisfied. The experience was amazing. What is Senator Scott also weighed in on whether lawmakers might be able to reach an agreement to keep the government open by next month. He says he's optimistic. Live in downtown Greenville, I'm Aaron Rodgers, 7 News. You mentioned, Aaron, that this was an invitation-only event. Tell us about the women who were in that audience. What sort of backgrounds, professions did they represent? So, Tom, there were high school students in that audience. I also spoke to some representatives from the Greenville County Republican Party, of course, but it was really uh, business women in the audience, really a gamut of women uh, that attended the event. Tom. All right, Aaron Rogers in downtown Greenville tonight. Thank you, Aaron.